Hello and welcome back to the Calculator Review, hosted on Caliquin.com. So today is actually going to be my first sequel to a previous review of sorts. So last Friday, <clears throat> I discussed the EPF Mark 65. I'm not re-reviewing this, I just bring it up because I, in that review I mentioned that other calculators have done this aesthetic and been much better devices. Uh, like I said, this thing feels really cheap. I'm not going to get into it. If you'd like to know more, check out last Friday's review. So today, I would like to talk about the TI-1000. Uh, this is actually, <laughs> this is just the shell of one. Um, so I found this at Goodwill uh, a while back and I was very, very excited because I've always wanted to have a TI-1000 even before I started collecting calculators. Um, it's a pretty historical calculator. I'm not going to get in, into that in the video review, uh, but I might in the written review. I usually do those second. So what happened was uh, several of the digits didn't work and I attempted to repair it uh, only to find that I am not good at repairing things and I ended up completely destroying it, but I've kept the shell uh, for a project that I have in mind that I would like to put together in the near future. But uh, again, I'm not reviewing this, I am reviewing a working one. <laughs> so I have recently acquired a working TI-1000, I'm very, very excited about it. So uh, first thing. going to install the single 9 volt battery and so what's nice about this design and you'll actually find this in a lot of the older TIs uh, they use a 9 volt but you can pull out the uh, terminals so it makes uh, applying the battery really really easy so just snaps in and then just gently place it in and replace the cover and here we go. Okay, so I'm going to uh, bring this up to the camera a bit. Let me adjust the light. Okay, so unfortunately it's really hard to get the uh, the screen to show up really well here. Uh, it's a red LED. Looks amazing in person. Um, not so great on camera. <laughs> so let's see if I can uh, adjust the light here to show. So right now it's just displaying the number zero. Um, so annoyingly, as you, you might have noticed, pressing seven or eight sometimes, sometimes, usually one of these buttons will cause a number to appear twice. Oh, there we go. So five did it, six just did it. This is not common. This is not typical of the TI-1000. That, that is this uh, specific model, or this specific one. Um, I've taken it apart, tried to fix this issue, but uh, there's something going on with the wiring, I believe. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But aside from that, uh, extremely annoying problem. This is a beautiful, beautiful calculator. And unlike this, this thing feels amazing in the palm of my hand. Uh, it feels nice and sturdy. It's got a much better uh, brushed aluminum faceplate. Uh, it's just an overall cleaner design. Uh, you'll notice that they stuck with a color scheme rather than uh, playing around with it too much. Uh, the other thing is the uh, labels are actually embedded into the plastic rather than just this crappy uh, I don't know what that is. I just hate it. And also, uh, like I showed with the with the battery, uh, use a single nine volt. That's really easy to install. The triple A's on the APF are a pain in the ass to install uh, because these terminals just bend so easily. So you have to be really, really careful. And again, the cover, just this god awful cheap plastic. Ah, every time. So anyway, that's enough about the Mark 65. I don't care for it, as you know. Uh, the TI-1000 actually doesn't have quite as much func functionality as the Mark 65, but 
it is better. Um, there is no square root function. It doesn't have any memory options. But as far as just basic functionality goes, you cannot beat this thing. It's got amazing buttons, an amazing feel. The, the screen just looks fantastic. Uh, it's, it's really a shame that the, the camera doesn't pick it up as well as it looks in real life. So the buttons aren't clicky, but they, they are very satisfying to press. Um, if the screen was displaying them properly, this thing would be absolutely flawless. But, uh, you know, because that is an issue with this one, and the other one had the uh, LED issue that caused me to completely destroy the calculator, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this. Because, uh, as you can see, I've had two of these, and they both had varying issues, so it's not the most reliable calculator. And that really is a shame, because it feels just so good. Um, I love its appearance. Obviously, this is from the 70s. Uh, TI did improve upon this model uh, with later iterations, and I will be getting to a few of those. Uh, this does have an AC input, so you can plug this into the wall, but honestly, a single 9 volt battery just isn't that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, so overall, uh, this is another one that I absolutely will have on display, right next to the uh, APF Mark 65, in fact. I mean, they they look like they belong together. Um, okay, I gotta stop talking about that one. But, uh, yeah, so this is an, an amazing display piece. Uh, it does have some historical context. This is a very sought-after type of calculator. Not hard to find, but definitely one that if you do collect calculators you're going to want to have. Um, this is not even Texas Instruments first calculator but I'll discuss more about that in the written review I just don't have that to, to talk about at the moment. But yeah, uh, highly highly recommended as far as collecting but not really a good one to carry around with you. Uh, TI has done much better with other devices and honestly, there are plenty of other brands that do it better too. But for the red display alone, I, I just love it. A lot of calculators from this era went with the, the boring green. I think red just looks so much better, especially against the black. Um, it just shows up so crystal clear. And I do like that it has the off button up in the corner so it's not easy to it's not something you'd accidentally press so I'd like to thank you very much for watching and have a good week